Boston's battle against COVID-19 has raged for over a year. The pandemic is still not over, but life-saving vaccines are here. All across the city of Boston, COVID vaccines are spreading hope. The arrival of the first COVID-19 vaccines at Boston Medical Center was cause for celebration. What I hope is that people will watch me today and join me in fighting this virus. But with the vaccine rollout, we saw the potential for unequal distribution. Statewide, Blacks and Latinos continue to lag behind whites in vaccination rates. These shots are not reaching all of those who need it most. We knew many patients would have significant barriers. We knew addressing those hurdles would require hard work, not just from BMC personnel, but also from community leaders and organizers. We knew we were up to the task. We are working nonstop right now. We are trying to reach out to people in our own community, to, to talk to people, to allay their fears, to give them facts. Welcome to the dialogue of the COVID vaccination with the Cape Verdean community leaders. Es la misma tecnología que se usa para la vacuna de Ebola que previ previene Ebola y ha hecho que el Ebola no cruce para acá. Es lo mismo, pero para COVID. About the COVID-19 vaccine. So ask questions, engage with us. We're here for you. We've heard it all and we want to hear more. So get your questions to us. I think we need to do ongoing education. Um, Black professionals like myself are going into communities to talk about the trust gap and why we believe in these vaccines. The goal is to not just be a hospital and expect people to come to you all the time, but going out to where people are. We are very excited to establish the Hyde Park COVID-19 vaccination site at the Menino YMCA. This is a partnership for impact. Hi, my name is Quincy Miller. I'm the president of Eastern Bank, and I just came to get my vaccination here at the Russell Auditorium. Bishop John Borders is pastor of Morningstar Baptist Church. His church has partnered with Boston Medical Center to offer COVID vaccinations to community members. We decided to get involved, to show this collaboration between the church and the hospitals science and faith. A new vaccination clinic opened in Roxbury this morning. The 12th Baptist Church partnered with Boston Medical Center. I am so thankful that BMC has led on engaging ministers, community leaders, and those who have a pulse on what's happening in our neighborhood to ensure that we are having the right conversations as it relates to the COVID-19 vaccine. You can walk out of your door, out of your classroom, and then walk into a facility and get vaccines where you feel um, comfortable. Now change is in the air and a chance to get back to the things we love is right in front of us. Nous Las sonrisas para poder planificar juntos las cosas que nosotros queremos. Getting the vaccine feels like I'm doing the right thing. The more of us that get vaccinated, the sooner we can get back to the things we love. As Latinos, you have the responsibility to educate yourself. Un gran nivel de desinformación. People will look like me, who are hesitant. Don't swallow. Pali avec n'importe mon domaine médical. Boston Medical Center has been a champion of partnering with local-based community organizations, faith-based organizations, community health centers, and others to do outreach into communities of color and into those parts of greater Boston that have been most disproportionately affected by COVID. BMC is vaccinating nearly four times as many Black community members as compared to the state, and twice as many Latinx members. And what I'm hoping is that, th that COVID would remind us of the importance of public health and investing in public health. We actually hope that this level of engagement, this type of engagement, doesn't end with the vaccine. 